if you spend any time on my channel at all, you'll know that I'm a cosplayer and uh, just like everyone else, I've been really into Stranger Things actually since season one because Halloween vibes, I guess. And uh, since the latest season, I really, really fell in love with Eddie just like everybody else seemingly. Uh, so he uh, was a cosplay of mine and I actually uh, finished a cosplay recently. Uh, but I wanted to make it like a little bit more interesting. So I wanted to make the weapons that he had in like the final episodes, like the spear and the, the shield. And I thought I would like walk through how I made them because it could be useful for someone else. Maybe I don't have footage of me actually making it. I do have some progress pictures and I'm just going to explain how I did it. This is the shield that I made. It's really dirtied up and stuff. So, so it's basically supposed to be trash can lit with some nails uh, slammed through it. But of course that's not allowed on a convention or at least not here in Belgium. Um, no metal is allowed in the convention. Most often wood isn't either. So I made this thing entirely out of foam. I started with some uh, basic craft foam. I think it's five millimeters. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, uh, I started out with Cutting out concentric circles, um, as you can see, mine aren't exactly perfect because I just used uh, circle forms that I could find around the house instead of like uh, actually measuring them out because uh, I'm lazy. But on the inside, it's less noticeable, which is the most important part since I'll be holding it like this. So this is the side you're going to see the most. It's a little bit bent for the way I store it, but that's very easily fixed. But because it's well foam. Uh, yeah, but there's not much to this except for like cutting out uh, circles in foam and then for the rim I just cut out like uh, I measured out a band and just glued it all around I couldn't fit like I didn't have long enough piece of foam So I had to do it in two parts Which is a little bit noticeable, but not too bad. I mean you can see it here and Over here, but I mean when I'm holding it like this you can't notice it all so it doesn't really matter I bought some like silver spray paint to, to do a base coat, but the uh, spray paint actually sucked. So then I went and ended up going over it with silver acrylics anyway. It was time consuming, but the color that came out of it was actually really worth it. Um, but yeah, of course that looked too clean. So I made it all dirty with like mud. Like when I looked at the reference picture, I'll, use, I'll put the picture that I used as a reference over here. Uh, it was also really, really dirty. So I tried to follow that up as well. And as you can see, maybe here, I, I tried to get a closer shot of it like this here. Those were parts of the foam that I accidentally ripped up uh, when I was like trying to glue it together and like the glue stuck to it. So I tried to like, like get it off and yeah, I decided to roll with it and make it like a rust pieces. So I painted like a rusty color and yeah, so I made it like pieces of rust and due to the texture that was left behind by like having the foam being ripped, it looked pretty good. I'll try to get some close up shots. The handle I made out of uh, craft foam and a warbler sandwich because I didn't trust the foam alone to like keep the shape and also be strong enough. And then I just glued it in with contact cement. Uh, as you can see here, maybe, I don't know if it's very visible, but uh, the smaller circle I cut out two circles and the top circle I cut out the shape of the handle and glued it in. This way I felt it was uh, like the most secure but also would look the best. So this is how I uh, solved my issue because I didn't want the handle to be showing through here. As for the nails, that was like my biggest problem. Like I knew I could make the shield out of foam easily because well, it's just circles that yeah. Um, don't mind my cutting job, it's horrible. Uh, but yeah, what I did for the nails was actually make them out of foam clay. I don't know uh, if you've heard of foam clay, but it's basically just clay but foam. You basically let it dry for 48 hours and then you can paint it like prime it and paint it as you would foam. Um, and I also planned out the holes in advance because I wanted to make sure that uh, the paint wouldn't chip by making the holes or I wouldn't like destroy any of my paint job. So before I painted it, I made the holes and did a little bit of a test fit with the uh, nails. Again, I just followed the reference. I actually counted the nails back then, but I didn't end up using them all because I, I felt like it was starting to feel crowded and I liked it a little bit more like this. And um, I kept the nails that I didn't use as a, um, yeah, for like fixing it up because I don't feel like this thing is going to survive an entire convention. Especially the nails are pretty fragile. I mean, this is pretty okay, but if somebody like really smacks against it, I think the nails will go flying, especially the thicker ones. 
although they feel quite sturdy and I just pushed them through um, yeah the back side had to, like, have like this nail head but I didn't put that much detail into them because again you're never going to see this side anyway uh, but yeah that's basically what I did I tried to paint them like um, the thicker ones in the reference were also a lot lighter so I painted them a lighter color and these I tried to make like look rusty because they were also rusty in the reference picture so that's what I did um, yeah there's not much more to it than that it's just yeah then I also made the spear. Uh, this one was a little bit more difficult for me and also a bit lo a lot worse looking than the um, shield. The shield is really my masterpiece here. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make the spear as well so I can just like have a prop for once and I thought it would be cool completion. Uh, so I started off at making the knife. Um, this is just out of cut out of foam, like a really simple knife shape. I didn't even properly sand it down as you can see. Uh, because I'm impatient. Uh, someone with a lot more patience and um, like a cleaner cut uh, would do a lot of a better job than I. <laughs> but yeah, I just painted the silver the same way as I painted my um, shield. I didn't actually even bother like embellishing the, the handle or anything because, well, you can barely see anything of the handle, so it doesn't matter. Um, I also put some fake blood on it because I thought it would be cool. Like, this could be from the demo bats that just were cut up and died. Um, first off I secured the knife with some black tape because I could some, see some black tape also sticking out under the twine that was on the reference picture so that's what I did and it honestly worked out for the better because this way it's really really secure on here. I don't have to worry about the twine loosening and then my knife just going somewhere. It's secure on there and then I put some like a uh, rope or twine or I don't know what I'm supposed to call this. Um, around the handle just like the reference and just wrapped it around a few times. That's basically how I just did this part. It's not that hard, it's just pretty time consuming with like priming and waiting for paint to dry and stuff like that, but it works. And for the uh, branch, because once again they're not going to let me take a wooden stick inside the convention, I used a PVC pipe. As you can see here, it's a pipe. I used a heat gun to kind of shape it and bend it a little bit, so you can see here it's quite bendy to make sure that um, yeah, it looks a little bit more like a real branch. I thickened up some parts like here, the knot here, with um, foam clay as well, just because it felt more like natural branch that way. As you can see, um, or maybe not see on camera, uh, there's a texture here, I just used the papier mache technique with uh, toilet paper because with the toilet paper I could really like press it in a little bit and make like these little how do I say this like these little bunches of toilet paper to make like a more of a branchy texture and then just painted it brown with some green here and there because like sometimes you have that mossy texture on um, branches and I felt that that would work and I then saw in the reference picture as well that there was some tape wrapped around where he's basically holding his spear so that's what I also did here um, it, again, it's not that difficult, it's just a lot of work, like I think there's like six or seven or maybe eight layers of toilet paper on here, so it takes a while, but it was also great to like smooth out these parts where I put uh, the foam clay, because you can only get it so smooth with your fingers and with water, so yeah, this was to make sure also like the height difference wouldn't be too noticeable, except for like the fact that there's a knot there, um, and also to make sure that the texture was really um, there. I went over it the last time with glue to seal it before I painted it, but uh, I think it came out pretty okay. I primed both this and my shield with Plasti Dip and the nails were primed with gesso because, well, I wasn't patient enough to uh, figure out how I was going to prime them with, um, yeah, well, with a spray can because it's a round shape and I don't like doing that. So yeah, this worked out bad, pretty alright for someone who's not used to making props. I think the only other prop I've ever made was uh, a shell for my Gary the Snail cosplay, so <laughs> that's about it. Uh, I'm currently working on Steve's bed for a friend of mine who's going to cosplay Steve. Uh, so I might actually do a walkthrough of that as well, but uh, I just wanted to share how I made these together. Um, thought that would be a cool prop to be able to take to the convention with me. I just wanted to have something extra for my cosplay because, well, I know I'm not like the most look-alike for Eddie and my wig isn't the best, but 
I just wanted to add something to my cosplay to make it a little bit cooler and I just enjoy having a prop. I'm like a child, hand me this and it's like, yeah, let's go and whoosh. I'll be wearing Eddie to Facts Convention. I uh, will be making a vlog again like I did last uh, two times and I hope uh, it will turn out fun to watch. In any case, uh, I hope this was clear enough and maybe you have some, uh, like it can help you making your own Eddie cosplay if that's something you want to do or maybe it was just for fun to find out how you make something else. Um, I'm by no means an expert. My friend, the Cyber Wizard cosplay, uh, Cyber Wizard cosplay is like an expert in all this stuff. I am not. <laughs> uh, I fail at everything I do. <laughs> But I just wanted to make this video in case it was helpful for someone and if it was please leave a like or a comment and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below as well. I'll try to help in the best way possible. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!